Anybody got Pepsi? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, we'll wait till the other gets here. But Coach, you want to go ahead and give us an opening statement on the game, and then a uh, reminder after Coach's opening statement, we'll take questions for just the student athletes only. Okay, I thought you know coming into the game today, I we knew that you know they're a very good basketball team. Uh, Macy Morris and Taylor Murray are are dynamic guards. Uh, two uh, kids that, that, that can take the game over. And uh, we were concerned about that. We, we knew that they loved to drive right. And unfortunately, the first few minutes of the game, we allowed them to drive right. And they scored. And then we finally made some adjustments about four or five minutes into the game, forcing them to go left. We had help on that side. And defensively, we did a lot of good, uh, a lot of good things. Um, you know, I mean, it's... You look at our stat sheet, and I tell people all the time, we are one rebound away and two assists away of having four players with triple with with double doubles. I mean, it's not one player. Asia shoots the, the the heck out of it. She scores. Her teammates do a great job of finding her in open space. We execute. I mean, I was really impressed with this. If if you go back and watch that ball game, I mean, a, a, Asia scored a lot in the half court. You know, because we took the time, we set good screens, we, we found her now. As I say it all the time, she has to knock the shots down. And she did. And then I, I think the start of the game, I think my, uh, Sam Furin gets an O board on the first possession of the game and scores. You know, so we set the tone that, you know, I told him in the locker room, you got to rebound to win. If you rebound the basketball, you've got a great chance to win. So I, I'm really proud of him. Uh, it's, uh, it's a good win, but now we've got to get set. For the for 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 the next ball game, it's not you know there there's a lot bigger things in in front of us, and we know that, and we've we we we've, we've got to continue continue to improve and get better. Okay, we'll take questions from Aisha Heinz Allen and Asia Durr. Please raise your hand to be recognized. We can order the questions. Gary, go ahead. Asia, just talk about your just your comfort level tonight, just being able to kind of shoot from especially from outside, even when you were being pressured. Well, I mean, my teammates give me confidence. Um, they, you know, find me on the court. You know, Coach Walls calls great plays. And if I don't have the, the shot there, you know, I know I have my teammates to count on. And they always, you know, help me get hype and things like that. So, I mean, it's my t teammates who, who get me going. Um, I mean, it's so much fun playing out there with them. Do you have questions for the student athletes? Maisha, what did you guys think of your uh, transition game tonight? Um, really well. Uh, we got, we were able to rebound the ball, and that's where it all starts, just rebounding as a defensive end um, and then going in transition. That's one of the things that we were focusing on, too, this team. Gary? You know, just talk about either one of you. Talk about your pace tonight, uh, just in terms of pushing the ball down, down court and, and kind of locking down on defense and you know, forcing turnovers. Well, I mean, Coach Walls talks about it all the time. Tempo, and that's what we've been trying to, you know, do better as a team. Um, this past week, we've been working on um, scoring and then sprinting back on defense because, you know, Kentucky, they don't waste any time getting the ball out the net. They go. So that's what we had to work on this past week. Mike, what does this rivalry mean to you? It um, means a lot. Since it was our last, well, my last one, you know, I just wanted to come in here and do whatever I could for the team so we can get the win. Um, but it's a big one. You know what it means to Kentucky, and you know what it means back at home. So it was just good that we were able to get that win. And I think it was some years. I don't know how long Coach Wallace mentioned it in, uh, before the game that we weren't able to ever win here at some when time. So. Page, just a quick question for you. all went on a nice run to end the first half. What did you all see? Um, you talking about in the first half? Or in the first half, well, we were we stayed hungry, we stayed aggressive as well. Um, you know, Coach Walls kept saying they weren't gonna back down even during halftime. That's what he said. So uh, we just had to, you know, stay hungry and not get comfortable. We know that we were up by like 
15 or 20, but we had to, you know, keep keep on going because he didn't take his um, best two players out for the whole game. So he was trying to make a statement. Yeah, they're an aggressive team. Um, they were always in the paint. Their guards rebounded the, uh, the ball so well. I think it says Taylor Murray had seven rebounds. So, I mean, their guards were done so well. And then, say we did get the ball, they would come. They'll be right there. I know I got one poked away from me. Um, so, like, their guards are really aggressive. Their post players are just so big, and they're able just to get up there and get the rebounds, too. So, we just have to be strong with that ball. From Aisha, when you all move the ball around and it gets out to Asia, how much confidence do you have when she gets on the wing? A lot. I mean, once it gets in her hands and it goes up, I just want to run back down. But I know I'd probably get in trouble if I did that. But I just have so much confidence in her. Um, over this uh, past summer, see, playing with her for at USA Trials, I really got to see like what Asia is capable of doing. And I think now everyone is seeing what she's capable of doing. Like I'll say it again. Like I think that she's the best player in college basketball. And I'm just happy that she's on my team. Maybe I have a question from the student athletes speaking to Smith in the locker room. Asia, what do you think of, of Dana over the past couple of weeks? Why do you think she's becoming so comfortable right now? Is it just that it took time for her to kind of get settled? Or right. I mean, it's always tough coming from high school to, to college. Um, you got to make that adjustment. Um, we've been trying to help her in a practice. She's very coachable, very coachable. And she, she wants to be great. You know, anytime you have a player like that who wants to be great, you know, that that, that starts to uh, show. And I think in big games like this, you know, fans and, you know, players are really starting to see what type of player she is. Okay. We'll dismiss the players back to the locker room. Thank you. Continue the post-game press conference with Coach Walsh. Again, if you have questions, please raise your hands. You can be great. Jeff, in the last game in particular, when we had seven players in double figures, we talked about how much having that kind of support really you know, helps, helps your, your approach. A game like, like this where you're playing a rival, how much did it kind of help Asia get her game going knowing that she had others that could pick up the slack? Well, I, I think that's why she's able to, to do what she's doing is because you just, you, you know, it, it's hard to box and chase her. It's hard to face guard her. It's hard to just say, hey, we're, we're just going to hone in on her because then she does a great job of going to screen. You know, and if you're not going to help off, well, then I'll, I'll, we'll set a screen for Maisha in the paint, and then she comes off and she scores. Uh, having balance and depth is something that, that we haven't had at this level of it in the past. Um, you know, it's, it, it makes life a lot easier for her when players can step up and knock down o open shots. I thought Erica Carter was big. E er Erica was, was big in the first half because they uh, challenged her to make open shots, and she did. You know, and we did the same thing. And I've got to give a few of their, their kids uh, a credit. You know, we, uh, we doubled the on ball screen when Murray came, I mean, when uh, uh, Morris came, uh, came off of it, she throws back to M M McKinney, she hits a three. Tatiana Wyatt hits a three. You know, so they had kids step up and make some shots, too. But you have to have when you've got players of the caliber of Asia. And, and Macy Morris that you're competing against. What makes Sam Heron so effective as a rebounder? She, <laughs> she doesn't stop. That's the one thing I'll, I'll give Sam. She moves without the ball. It's really hard to find that anymore. You know, players like like to watch. Shaka's up, they don't like to watch. Sam moves without the ball. Uh, I say it all the time. It's it's hard to find players that when a shot's taken can look at the tra trajectory of the ball and be like a shorter ball. And then if it's long, just get to the other side of the short, stay on your side. And I, I, I don't, I think in our game, in women's be, uh, a basketball, because we don't necessarily play as much, <coughs> just come out and play it. You know, you don't get as many reps with just playing the basketball. And I think that comes from that. Uh, and Sam has, has a knack for it. She can, shot goes up, she can tell it's short or long. And then she goes and hunts the ball. But she was big tonight. I mean, I thought the way she offensively rebounded. Really How much have you encouraged uh, Erica with her for a shot like that? I told her as long as it goes in, keep shooting. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, she took one, I, I thought she took one bad shot, and that was in the end of the first half there, kind of like two minutes left in transition, where she fired up like off balance, bank shot, 
on the left side that did not go in. You know, I'm like, AC, hey, you've been you you've been killing them on ball reversal, stepping into your three. Like, don't start doing more than what you're really good at. Uh, and then she missed that one three in, in, in front of our bench there late late in the game. I told her when she was kind of, kind of coming down the floor, I said, shoot. Now, what she can't allow that to happen is makes Morris go to, go down the floor and make the line. You know, you, you, you have to defend. But AC's put the time in. You know, when you put the time in and, and you work on your game, it's amazing what, uh, what happens. And uh, she went from, she did not make one three-point shot her freshman year. Not one. To where now you have to respect her, you you have to guard her. Moore started the game three for ten. What was your defensive philosophy on her? You mentioned taking away the right. We have we, our whole goal was to force her left, uh, but can't you can't give her left when she drives left? She goes to the the, uh, the basket for a layups. It's what she does. Every time she goes left, she's going all the all the way home. When she goes right, she'll size you up. She's really good at a little step back. She 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 does a great job. So our goal was play head up. If she's going to drive, make her go left. But then we fouled. You know, she got to the line some there in the first half, which I, I thought was a problem for us. And then we started to finally find the back off. But I was really pleased with how we did thing. We have time for two more. When you look at, we talked about the offensive versatility, but when you look at defense, how do you see your depth there? And who do you think has been the same as well, I, I think defensively we're good too. I mean, we, we have players that can come in off the bench. I mean, Bianca Dunham did not, she normally gives us more. She's been really good this year. Now, she fouled well. Uh, four fouls in three, three minutes is pretty damn impressive. I mean, that's not easy to get done, especially when you're not trying to do it. Uh, but I, she normally co comes in and can rebound and, 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 and give us a presence. Uh, you know, Kylie Shook offensively is further along than Bianca, but Bianca defensively is further. So they both have areas that they're going to work to, to get better at, which will help us get, uh, get better. Last well, question. Last guy out on the class is pretty good. good and then you guys do it. Good defense is about getting out on the fast break. Has that been the style of play this year? Has that been something that's been pretty much a routine thing you guys have been able to do? Well, we've always tried that. I mean, you know, our whole goal is to get, we'll get the ball out as quick as we can, look down the floor, but don't force it. We want, I'm trying to get them to pick the tempo up and get it. Push it below the, the, the free throw line as quick as you can. If it's not there, bring the ball back out and reverse it. I don't want to stop a 28 foot marker and just hold it to try to set an offense. That's not what we're trying to do. Coach, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Kentucky is on its way. Thank you, Charlie.